I mean, Michigan State's the same time as we were last year. They power run team with Lady on top. He's a big physical back. And they also have some receivers that go up and make plays and like to challenge you vertically. And just a traditional type of offense, like to pass and run the ball and be diverse. I was talking to Chi Chi about the Peanut Tillman effect. Uh, Jared Carpenter tried to punch that ball out against Michigan. Is that something you guys work on? Uh, yes, sir, definitely. I mean, with the Bears being right here, we try to. To model our defense philosophy out there. I mean, getting the ball back is a big emphasis here. Finishing plays is a big emphasis here. So, I mean, it's, our DB coach tells us to punch on the ball every time, whether it's a pass play, run play. So, I mean, we're just trying to get the ball back and help win the game. Are you guys satisfied so far with what you've accomplished uh, this season with the record that you have? Uh, in, in a sense, I can say that, that I mean, it's, it is what it is. We have to move forward from a lot. We could very easily be 10 and that was a lot of games, especially in Michigan and uh, no, I mean uh, Nebraska, where it's just right there, just stuff out of our hands. But I mean, that's that's in the past. All we can do now is make sure we finish 10 and three. So that's what we're aiming for. I asked Coach Fitz this question about the three losses and what happened in the fourth quarter. Um, what is that a, a symptom of? Because I mean, you guys right there, as you mentioned, could have been 10 and all. Uh, it's just. A, us just trying to work that much harder to find a way to finish, and then B, it's just, you know, the, the luck of the draw, luck of the ball. Sometimes, I mean, a couple plays here that, that could have went either way that the other team ended up making, and we came out in the short end. So it's just finding a way to make that one extra play and working that much harder in practice. Daniel, can you describe that, uh, that Hail Mary pass on Saturday? Once again, another one of those is just luck of the bounce type plays. I mean, I thought I was in great position. I was the first guy up. I actually hit the ball. And, and in my mind, I thought I just made the, the play to end the game, and it just happened to tip and fall into his arms. So it's just an unfortunate bounce for us. Were you trying to just tip it forward then? I was more or less just trying to knock the ball down just to – I think at that point it would have been about six seconds left on the clock, so I was just trying to knock the ball down and, and live to play another day and end the game. It was such a bang-bang play too, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Like I said, I, I was the first guy up. I, I hit the ball, and – it just happened to tip and fall right in those arms. Is that one of those things? <laughs> I mean, I, I couldn't believe that he caught it. Like, like I said, I, I thought I did everything right. I was on top of the route, mm -hmm. the first guy up in there, and hit the ball. It's just, I just thought that's that's the way the ball bounced sometimes. I mean, a lucky bounce for them, and we just had to play and finish from there. Is that one of those plays where the ball hangs up in the air for about 15 minutes or so? <laughs> Seemed like it. Yeah, it was it was an unfortunate play because, like I said, I was on I was on top of the receiver and it was an underthrown ball, so it was just floating in the air and I had to come back to the ball and I jumped up and hit it and it just floated in there a little too too uh, long after I hit the ball. If you were going to be in the same situation again, would you play the ball any differently? Yeah, I would. I would be more aggressive and just try to catch the ball as opposed to trying to knock the ball down and just. I, I think that's just a philosophy that I'm trying to do. Just be more aggressive to the ball regardless and just get the ball back and assure that the game's over and assure that we get the ball. Did you say anything to Roy or do you have any kind of reaction after you look and somehow he's got the ball after that? I didn't say anything to him after the play. I mean, after the game, I told him that was a great catch and he played a great game. But, I mean, at, at that point in time, I was just trying to finish the game off and get a win for our team. Michigan State, that's the team that you came in and got a lot of playing time against last year, probably your most early significant playing time. Um, are you excited to get another chance at them or this year with some more experience? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm always excited to play any game regardless of who we're playing. But, yeah, I mean, Michigan State was my first significant amount of playing time. So I'm definitely wanting to come out and have a, a great game against them. I mean, to have a great game regardless of the team win, but I, mean, I think that we have a great defensive plan to stop them. It's just working hard to execute and do our job.